everyone, welcome back to Rimmel's YouTube channel. My name is Taylor Anise and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this easy, dear Halloween makeup look. This is for anyone that would love like a super easy Halloween look. And it's also if you're running out of ideas and you don't know what to do, you guys are gonna see just how easy it is towards the end of the video. But if you guys wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So let's get started with brows. I'm going to be filling in my brows with the Brow This Way Fill and Sculpt Eyebrow definer and I'm using the one in the shade dark brown and it has two ends to it so you have the retractable eyebrow pencil side and then you have the spoolie on the other end which is really great for brushing out the brows and kind of preparing them for the brow product so for this look I'm just filling in my brows like how I normally fill in my brows nothing too crazy just outlining the bottom outlining the top and then filling in the center and I really like how easy to work with this brow pencil is it just really applies the product very creamy and pigmented and it lasts for a long time so I really like that so now that we have our brows on it's time to apply some eyeshadow primer so I'm going to use the magnifies eye primer in the shade beige now this is going to make your eyeshadows transfer proof waterproof all that jazz and I really like that this eyeshadow primer dries to a matte finish and it also grips the eyeshadows that you apply on top of it we're gonna be using the magnifies eyeshadow palettes today in this video so this eyeshadow primer is going to allow for those shadows to come up more pigmented and just really lock in place. So today I'm going to be using the Magnifies eyeshadow palette, the Nude Edition. And this has really pretty nude shades and it works really well for creating like soft everyday looks as well as like those smoky eyes that we all love. So I'm going to start with a transition color which is like a kind of like a matte brown shade. It's like the first shadow I always like to use when creating eye looks. So I'm going to be using that with a fluffy blending brush. And I'll all of the magnifies eyeshadow palettes have a mix of shimmers and mattes so you're able to create like a wide range of different looks they have 12 different palettes so you guys can take a look using the links in the description box on what kind of eye looks and fun little combinations you guys would like to create using the palettes because there's so many to choose from which is so nice so I'm just blending this into the crease so that all the other shadows that I apply blend really well together this is just a really good first shadow to start with and it makes your blending like 10 times as easier <laughs> so next we're gonna add a little bit of smokiness to this look so I'm going to use this deep brown shade right here and apply this to the outer corner to kind of deepen up the look and then with the applicator that comes in the palette I'm going to use the like spongy side and it already has eyeshadow on it because I've been playing with this eyeshadow palette but I'm gonna go in with this bronzy shimmer shade right here and apply this directly to the lid and this sponge applicator is so cool because you can kind of create a soft cut crease with it if you just kind of angle it go really slow you can kind of cut the crease a little bit which is so cool and then apply this to the other side and the intensity of these shimmers is so nice really the shimmers and the mattes they show up really well and I really like that and I'm also going to bring that same shade a little bit further into the inner corner to create a little bit of the inner corner highlights on both the top and the bottom so I'm going to bring it a little bit lower onto the lower lash line inner corner this is really going to make the eyes pop okay and then with the Rimmel Scandalize waterproof gel pencil in the shade black this thing is so intense the color the payoff is so great so I'm going to apply this to the waterline as well as a little bit on the lower lash line so we have something to blend into when we apply our shadows down there in a second and you want to move really quick with the blending out that eyeliner because once it dries it sets in place and you don't have to worry about it moving which is one of my favorite things I've actually had these eyeliners in my collection for probably about four or five years I love it I've had the nude shade in my collection we're actually gonna use that a little bit later so stay tuned but they are just so nice they're smudge proof sweat proof heat proof waterproof I mean it is just amazing I just love these eyeliners and you're able to work with them and kind of blend them out to create some smoky looks but once it dries like in place then it sets and you don't have to worry about it moving so got that blended out a little bit now we're gonna go in with that same applicator
applicator that came with the palette that we used for the lid shade and it actually has a brush on the other end so I'm gonna go in with the deep brown shade that we used in the outer corner and just smoke that underneath as well and this is gonna give like a little bit of a sultry look and just make it a little bit more just smoky and on themes with the Halloween deer look you know okay and then we're going to apply a little bit to the upper lash line just right on the ends and blend that out a little bit just so that the smokiness kind of blends on the top ends and you can kind of wing that liner out a little bit too if you want which I think I'm gonna do <laughs> you know just kind of winging it as we go this isn't a super hard Halloween look you guys can definitely recreate this at home there is no pressure to make this look perfect just have fun with it we're just gonna mirror that on this side for mascara we're gonna be going in with the Rimmel scandalized mascara now this packs on the volume you guys it is long wearing no smudging easy to remove all of that good stuff and I'm just gonna apply this to the top and bottom lashes and then for blush I'm going to use the Rimmel maxi blush in the shade rendezvous and this blush is super buildable so you could honestly do something really soft if you want to or you can build it up to create a super bold blush look that is so cute I'm just going to add a little bit to the cheeks and I love the shade of this it's like a deep berry blush shade for lip color I'm going to apply the Rimmel stay matte liquid lip color in the shade love bite this shade is so so gorgeous it's like a deep terracotta nude shade I love this shade and it's really pretty it dries down to a velvety matte finish and stays in place so I really love that I mean best of both worlds I just love it so this is gonna go really well with this look and just add some warmness okay so this is what I meant on how this is such an easy Halloween look this is just like doing your normal makeup and then just adding on these last few touches that is really going to set off this deer look so I'm first gonna draw the nose because I think that is like the most transformative step on this first map it out of how far up you want it to go okay once we kind of have it outlined a little bit I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling it in and then we can kind of perfect it a little bit later this is a heavy-duty job I need to sharpen my pencil again <laughs> okay and now with the nude scandalized waterproof gel pencil we're gonna go and apply some spots all over and you can create these even to both sides or they can be uneven it totally doesn't even matter but I'm just gonna apply little dots all over that you would normally see on like a reindeer or just a baby doe or deer I'm gonna add a finishing accessory which is totally optional and then we'll be done so this is the completed deer Halloween makeup look you guys I love the way that it came out it's so fun and super easy to recreate make sure that you guys let us know down in the comments what you're gonna be for Halloween we would love to know check out my social medias that will be down in the description box as well as all of the products that I used in this video thank you guys so so much for watching again my name is Tyler Anise and I'll see you guys later bye